so let's actually talk though about how content creators can come together. So you often hear about collaboration from the standpoint of if you want to grow your YouTube channel or if you want to grow your social media presence, you have to collaborate with people. This is something that I hear all the time. Our form of collaboration though has been different because like it's you're the very tech. Hard to explain, you, it, yeah. It's not, it's something that's hard to explain. So the way I put it into kind of layman terms is we are a tag team where you're behind the camera, I'm in front of the camera. I'm almost more of like I hate to say it in this way, almost like a talent where yeah. people see me, they don't necessarily see you. But you're an artist because you're capturing all the scenes that people end up seeing over on YouTube and online. Plus all the things that happen behind camera that people don't get to see. Like what? People, we're not going to say because, you know, it's top secret, but, you know, we really put in hard work to be here and, and especially be sitting here recording this right now. That's like, you know, people see a lot of um, the moments mm. that we capture, but they don't really see the hard work that really goes behind all that. Well, it's it's, it's not just that it's, it's hard work. It's it's work. And it's just work. It's not hard. It's yeah, just work. It's work. You know, you're carrying this very heavy equipment around. You know, I'm sure you get tired of me saying, hey, Tony, grab this shot, grab that shot. Uh, but we get it. We, 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 and we get, get it. But you know? it's, but also like we're around people and then the cameras come around and you know, people start wondering like, what's going on here with these two guys? We're just pretty much being us. We're just pretty much being us. I'll say it's a big mixture of things we know mm -hmm. inside the market world, business world, mm -hmm. emotional intelligence, our, our EQ. We, we talk so much about mm -hmm. our different perspective in lives. And a lot of um, professional self-growth development and it's pretty much like we're just being us mm -hmm. hustling that's it that's pretty which much is why it's a hustle diaries exactly and i think exactly. that's i think that's what's cool like when people see us on the scene at events like this they, they look at us like two homies that they want to hang out with yeah, exactly. because like we're not a production crew that's bringing a camera around trying to like create a movie or a commercial we're just documenting we're documenting what's happening almost like a journal to look back on so it's really neat it's been cool seeing this dynamic from south by hispanicize here at x-men now to see how like people generally are watching they're paying attention and they want to be a part of the experience everything thanks to borrow lenses Yes. We can't forget about We that. can't forget about Borrow Lenses. Borrow Lenses did put us in game on having amazing equipment. Borrow Lenses has provided us with the equipment that we're recording with here in Bogota at Exma. They provided us with all of our and equipment. I, I want to add this because I, I know you've been getting a lot of this lately that it kind of looks like an ad, but it's, it's more than an ad. It's, it's pretty much an aid. There's a lot of people out mm -hmm. there that they don't really got the equipment. They don't really got the money to mm -hmm. gather up um, 15 G's and go straight up buy equipment mm -hmm. and then do like, to me like people like borrow lenses and they really facilitate mm -hmm. us having great equipment for us to provide a great quality. Now inside of there, mm -hmm. people are gonna debate like, yeah, the quality, the cameras, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Just put content mm -hmm. out there. If it's with your phone, put content out there. Something that me and Adriana yep. Are doing back home and with the Vivo Masonic and the agency. A lot of the people that are doing like the Snapchats or, mm -hmm. or whatnot, mm -hmm. we grab the Snapchat and we put it on top of a cell phone layover right. and with the image and then straight up grab and put that on YouTube. Like mm -hmm. you did that right. at the start. Sean and the yep. other day. Like a lot of the people could be doing that from your tools. I often, I often say to people, like if you go on my YouTube channel, so if you're watching this on my channel right now on Carlos Gill TV, make sure that at the end of this video, you go and, and look at my oldest videos. So look at my videos of when I started vlogging in 2014. I probably created, I'd say about 200 videos with a just handheld Canon camera. Just nothing flashy. I bought it at Best Buy for a couple hundred bucks. And that's what I started with. And then I started creating video content yeah. with Snapchat on my iPhone that then I would layer over and put on YouTube. Now we want to take our production game to the next level. So we've partnered with Borrowed Lenses. We're renting out equipment. We're renting out microphones. We're renting out lights. And we're able to bring you this production. So my advice to piggyback on what you said for any aspiring content creators out there is get started creating content. Find what your voice is. Find what your passion is, and then once you go ahead and want to start making the investment in equipment, yeah. instead of going off and buying that expensive equipment, go to borrowlenses.com, and on borrowlenses.com, you can just go ahead and rent out the equipment. Really nice, high-definition cameras. And before we wrap it up, Tony, what equipment would you recommend to content creators out there well, for them to use? Right now, um, I'll say at least tall perspective again, coming back to all that. Shout out to Sean. Um, it pretty much comes back to, I know where the camera struggles. For example, mm -hmm. us being so dynamic, being on in, inside a place, going outside, being at night, like we really need a very diverse camera 
And right now we're shooting this with a 5D Mark IV, a great camera mm -hmm. out there right now. And if you can get it at Barrow Lens, it's like you really like, even if, if you don't know how to like really shoot with the camera, mm -hmm. like on manual and take mm -hmm. it, like even on an automatic, it'll just get amazing footage or pictures. Mm -hmm. So having like great equipment like this really puts us in the verge of um, looking more professional yeah. in a way. On, in the, well, in, you, know, you, you often hear like the term fake it until you make it in business. And I wouldn't necessarily say that we're faking it because we're creating content, but let's just keep it 100. We're out using really it's, good equipment to up our production value. It's, it's, it's pretty much like the evolution. Like you, the evolution you, you, you started content. with your phone, mm -hmm. you started then with the, the other Canon right. um, camera. Now we're using the 5D. I'm about to bump into the red ecosystem. Okay. You feel me? That's, but that's all top secret. You'll see it, you'll see Some it. Some special cloth talk. Yeah. All right, my man. It's always a pleasure. We're almost about 20 episodes into Hustle Diaries. Thank you. I could not do this without you. I couldn't do it without you. This is hustle, this is a dream. Hustle, team, baby. baby. Thank you so much. We could not do this without you guys. Appreciate you watching. Out.